This is Professor Nathaniel Zeb for a Hero News Network special report. The vicious fire villains dealt our heroes a terrible defeat at the refueling station. However, we did manage to take away some very valuable lessons from that experience. The creation of the brand new hero building system sent shockwaves across the universe. One organization affected by this unprecedented design was Hero Factory's galactic partner, the Planet Earth toy company, Lego. Lego designers have been working around the clock to implement the new design into their range of Hero Factory buildable action figures. Today, I'll be talking to three of these designers and learn how they managed this remarkable feat. Hi Zip, I'm Jerry Manovi, I work for LEGO. Uh, welcome to uh, the LEGO development department. I'm uh, Christopher Raundel, I'm a design manager uh, working with, uh, with these characters. Hi, I'm Christoph, I'm a designer in uh, buildable action figures and I would like to talk a little bit about uh, the new building system. I think from my point of view the most uh, um, the difference between the old system and the new system is that we actually thought about this as a system. So we wanted to cross-use it all over and we took the strongest elements of the old system and put it into the new system. For instance, for us it was very important to, uh, to get the ball as the most important uh, element into this system. So you can cross-connect everything. This illustrates like the way we wanted to do this. That's you could take and build uh, the skeleton of any structure, in this case a, a, a smaller character. We have different parts from that. These elements have uh, different families, different categories. So this is the, the basic, uh, basic torsos. And then these are the, the bones where you build the, the limbs, the arms and legs from. Then you have the, the shells, the cladding that comes on top. And uh, the whole system is uh, kept quite simple, so the elements are very generic, so you can use them in different ways. And that allows you to, to build a big range of uh, creatures and characters and uh, build your own creations and be creative. So for instance, I have an example here, like the size of this torso. We have another size of torso if we want to create a, a larger character. i show you how I do it. It's actually quite simple. You just have these kind of uh, skeletons, so you have um, torso elements and you have small bone elements for feet and you can just very easily compared to our old system combine that so also our youngest engineers can build these things together i can take um, a shell piece and you simply choose whether i want to put it there or i might want to turn it the other way around so we base more of the assembly on one connector instead of having for five different ones, we still have the opportunity of using all the rest of the connectors from, um, from Lego Technic. You don't have to sit and search for a small connector in order to assemble this one on the character. The ball cup is also changed, so actually this is much easier for, for kids to, uh, to assemble. We know when, when younger kids have to assemble some of the old parts, it's, it's it can be quite hard for them. So uh, actually now it's, it's, it's uh, quite easy to, uh, to put it together. You can really easily put on the gladdings so he is covered and he, he could be ready for the battle. And of course that depends on what kind of mission he will go up to. The head is also made here in, in different pieces. So you have a, you have a, a basic head here. Um, you get some headgear here that you put in here and then you put the top helmet on so you can variate this in different colors. For instance, if I had both of these models, I could uh, quite easily turn them into a, a compi model. The feet are used as a little bit of a, of a backpack. Like the more parts you have, the more opportunities you have to uh, change this around. And it's not only smaller models we can do with this. As a show with the compi model, we have possibilities to, uh, to make the models larger. So for instance, here is a uh, the fire lord. When we build, you need to uh, we need to double up our systems of two structures coming up and coming together, and then we continue that structure up in order to create enough friction for still having full movement, almost like it was a human leg. But it gives you all the flexibility, plus it gives you the stability for the model to carry the extra weight. So, for instance, a model like this. Also, we have 
used some parts from the Technic system as well here, a small beam and some connectors. So here you can also see the compatibility with Technic. So it is quite versatile. We have also put a double joint in the top part of, of the arm. Again, so it enables it to, to carry a, a larger weapon here and the shooter on the other side. You could actually use the shapes in a more abstract way. So you could, like this guy, you can create wings out of that. You can create a tail out of the bone elements. You can just create different kind of face expressions. The chest piece here is being used for other stuff here to create sort of a, a color or, or give some effect to the character. This is also a sketch model just to, to, to try to work with the system and see what you, can, what you can make of it. On top of that, you could actually um, decorate these elements still with the 318 rods. So you can really create something very special for each character. Again, it, it was done in the same way by, by doing a, a basic skeleton and then starting dressing it up. Uh, this is a, a nice mix of some older parts and some Technic parts and, and so on. But, but you get like this flexible rib cage, which is, which is looking pretty neat. And so you could imagine building this into a an even larger structure or a big, uh, big creature of some sort. Also here you can see like a basic skeleton sketch of what could become a, a dinosaur. Um, again, where the pieces are used in, uh, in, in different ways. Um, so you can imagine starting dressing this up with, with more shell pieces to, to find out how to, to cover uh, the body to complete this. Again, I can just I can steal the part from this guy here and I can use it. Now I want some um, I want some flames down here on on Stormer's legs. There I might want to change this, move the whole piece up and use it as a backpack where you have the 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 beam coming out of the fire beam coming out of the jet. Um, later this year uh, it will also be an opportunity to uh, go in on uh, online and actually um, create your own characters. Um, there will be a range of possibilities in choosing the skeletons, um, what color of the shells would you put on, and a range of equipment, and so on, which will enable you to uh, online build your character, get it shipped home. You can be the engineer of your factory. So this is the outcome of it. Here are the the six heroes. So Sip, I hope you I hope you like them. I hope they are just like the real thing. Mm -hmm.